Welcome to Instant Deck Techs. The aim of this series is to give you a short, concise guide on how to build a certain deck. It won't cover every card, but we'll go through all the categories and go over the types of cards needed to make the deck work. Any card mentioned will be down in the description below. The commander of this deck is Thraxamunda. It costs 4, blue, black and a red for a 6-6 legendary creature zombie assassin with haste. It has, whenever Thraxamunda attacks, defending player sacrifices a creature. Whenever a player sacrifices a creature, you may put a plus plus one counter on Thraxamunda. The aim of this deck is to use a lot of sacrifice effects to buff Thraxamunda and clear the board, so we can swing through for a commander damage win. The first part of the deck is effects that cause our opponents to sacrifice their creatures. The more creatures our opponents sacrifice, the bigger Thraxamunda will get. Look for effects such as Eldest Reborn or Shieldred that also do additional things, such as bring creatures back from our graveyard. This section will also take up some of our removal. As there is that overlap, I would look to run between 8 and 16 of these effects. The next set of cards in this group are also pseudo board wipes. The main aim of these cards is to get as many creatures as possible out of Thrax's way. And it wouldn't be a sacrifice deck without mentioning Dictate of Erebus, Butcher of Malakir, and Grave Pact. These are some of the most powerful sack based effects out there, but they can be pretty miserable to play against, so whether you play them or not, I will leave up to you. As Thrax gets bigger off of our own creatures being sacked as well, we'll want to run some token makers so we'll have plenty of fodder to buff him up. I'd look to having token makers at all points in the curve, so you have things to do early and have some big beaters at the top end which can also win the game. You can also run cards like Reassembling Skeleton and Gravecaller, as they'll be able to continually come back from the graveyard giving us repeated value. There is a lot of good card draw that is related to us sacrificing creatures. Again, look for things at all points in the curve. For synergy purposes, I would look to run something like these cards, but you can also run your efficient Risk Study and Friction Arena style cards as well. In total, you're looking for at least 8 bits of card draw. What I like about the cards listed here is the potential to draw a ton of cards in a turn. Thraxamunda is a lot of mana. As such, I would want to run at least 8 standard rock style effects. Run the best ones that you have available to you. I would split these up so that only 2 tap for colourless mana, while the other 6 tap for coloured mana, as after all we are a 3 coloured deck. To help synergize with the deck, I would look at running these sorts of effects. Black Market and National Zorta will be especially good, and will really let us have some explosive turns. We have access to plenty of removal in our colours. With the sack effects we are already running, we won't need as much dedicated removal on the deck, but I would still want to run some effects that either exile or deal with non-creature permanents to make sure nothing is able to stop us. Hitting people with Thraxamunda is the main way this deck will win. We want to make sure that he has an easy time of getting through to score the 21 points of command damage. Look for effects that will give it evasion. I'm a big fan of Wonder in general, and although we don't have many ways to cheat it into the graveyard, playing it and then sacking it won't be too difficult, and once it's in the graveyard, it's much more difficult to interact with, meaning Thraxamunda will permanently have flying. We can also run some effects that protect Thraxamunda from any untimely removal spells. I'm a big fan of the creatures that sack themselves for protection, as they will help synergize with the strategy, but more standard styles of protection will also work very well. There are some other creatures like Thrax, which grow when creatures die, which should hopefully be happening a lot with this deck, so there's something to consider as backup threats. If you're running this package, then I would also consider fling style effects, in case an opponent has pillow forted them to a point where we can't easily swing through. With all the things dying, we can run some recursion to help bring them back if they died too soon. As Thrax's well casting cost is quite high as well, we can also send it to the graveyard with one of these available to bring him back to play. I also think Arimi could be really fun in the deck, as a lot of the creatures we are running have good end of the battlefield effects, meaning that late in the game, Arimi can help bring us back on course if things haven't gone to plan. There are some big threats we can run to help close out the game. These effects all let us steal our opponent's creatures as they sack them, so we can turn our opponent's boards against them. You can also stick a Fire Shrieker onto Thrax to quicken up those wins. And you can play some Aristocrat style effects to drain our opponent's life from them. I focus this deck mainly on the face smash style of Thrax, but you can definitely run more of these if that's what you like. If going in that direction, I'd run some more dedicated sack outlets rather than the incidental ones that we're running so far in this deck. And as always in a deck like this, Torment of Hellfire and Rise of the Dark Realms should finish any opponent that we haven't killed with our commander. As we're a 3 colour deck, I wouldn't run too many utility lands that don't tap for a colour of mana. For the colourless ones, I would mainly stick to cards that can sacrifice creatures. Things like Westvale Abbey and High Market are fantastic in this deck. The rest of the mana base will be dependent on your budget. Look out for a video soon on this channel covering budget commander mana bases. This video was a request from a viewer. The next couple of deck decks you will see will also be from requests in the comments. If you have a deck you'd like to see, please let us know. If you like the look of those, please consider subscribing. Thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.